This is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a loading bar for like a intro to a program, and that's pretty much it because uh, this doesn't work for, let's say, if you're trying to actually load something. This is actually predefined stuff, just like um, if you're loading up a program, no, but to make it look like you're loading up a program, this is what we're going to do today. So let's get started, guys very fun so we're going to open up a new project here and we're gonna name it loads like loads of you know what lol 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 anyways uh... so when it takes forty five minutes to open up after that we need to add two things to make this all work we're going to add a progress bar so possibly somewhere in the center would be nice to make it look not bad and the second thing we need is a timer, which is down here in components. Yep, components. Drag that up on there. And we're going to mess around with this a bit to make it look good. And uh, I don't really do much of the, um, like, designing. But for loading bars, generally they don't have the X to minimize the control box or the icon. So you can turn that off by going over here to... Man, what was it again? It was it was um, form border style, and if you hit none, then nothing will show up. If you hit like fixed 3D, that's the one they use. And then like if you just want other things, no icon or whatever. But yeah, for loading, we we're gonna use the none. But the background color, we're going to change to kind of a grayish color because that looks looks pretty good and move that up there yeah, right about there not quite center but that doesn't matter we can mess with that later if we wanted to so the next thing we're gonna do is we need to cl double click on our form make sure you hit the form the uh, outside box not the progress bar because if you hit the progress bar nothing will happen when you code and you will rage quit so double click the outside it should say uh, form one load and if you clicked on the progress it would say form one progress not sure I don't really pay too much attention to that but the only thing we need to type in here is timer one dot start so it will start the timer that we put right down here so now we can go back to our design area and double click the timer now this is where we're going to input all of our code for the progress bar to work so pretty much all we've done now is told the form to start the timer and the timer is going to do something else so the timer will control what the progress bar does so we can type in uh, for an increment uh, progress man my hands are cold and I cannot type progress bar one dot increment and you can have that to be let's do three because that's a good number it's a good number and now um, we're gonna say what happens when it reaches the max of the uh, progress bars full so if progress bar one dot value is equals to progress progress bar one dot maximum then uh, me dot hide if you wanna hide it make it go away and then um, this next part is optional if you want the loading bar to redirect to a let's say another form in the program for example it loads and it goes to another program I don't know why I needed an example there but anyways if you want another form you go to project add windows form and we're gonna call it dose because that's number two in Spanish learn something today so we can add it and now we have a second form here and if you want uh, this progress bar to load into the form then you do dose dot show and and then you have to make sure you stop the timer timer one dot stop and you're done that is it if you don't want it to go to another page then get rid of the dose dot show and if we try it on out 
uh, loading, 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 and then bam, it goes to DOS. So, um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, hope it was easy to understand, and uh, please check out our other. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.